We are House Atreides. There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. House Atreides accepts! Hey, how's it going? And in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer a face with head motion animation onto a meta human body with animation. This video takes off where the last one left off. See the video in the description. And what we've got, if I hit play, is you'll see we've just we've got the face and head motion, but the body has no animation on it. The reason I'm doing this is I've seen other ways of doing this, like shortcut ways, but honestly using a blend mask, but honestly I couldn't get those ways to work. So this is the only way that I've found to get this to work for now. If I find another way, I'll let you know. But the other methods I found didn't work. And there's two good things about doing it this way. One is that learning how to do it this way, you're gonna learn a lot more about how the sequencer works and keyframe animation. And the second thing is this is the way that Unreal had officially recommended to do it. They did though acknowledge there are potentially other ways, but I haven't found another way than this way. What we're gonna do is we need to add another metahuman here and we're gonna transfer the keyframes from this, the head and neck rotation keyframes from this metahuman to our other metahuman. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and drag another metahuman into the scene. She's a little off the ground, so if you hit end, she should come down to the ground. They don't have to be right next to each other. And like I said, the only reason we have this metahuman is to get her animation data out of here and into here. That's all, and so we can ultimately delete her once we're done, but we won't delete her until we make sure that we're 100% done. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a body and face animation to this metahuman. So let's go ahead and select her. And I do have this level sequence open already. And with her selected, we'll go add to sequence her. And we'll add her, and there she is. Now she comes in with control rigs, we're going to go ahead and delete the face one, and we're going to delete the body one. And now we're going to add animations to her. So for the body, we'll go animation. And I already have a metahuman idle animation that I already created on another tutorial. And I'll leave a link to, the, I'll leave a link to that in the description in case you want to know how to do that. It's super easy to do. And it's this one, MM idle. So now you'll see she's got a idle animation on her. We're gonna go ahead and stretch this out. I've noticed that when I start messing with this one, sometimes it affects this one, which is, is kind of weird. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the same face animation that we did already. So we'll go to animation and add this animation. So now she's got a body animation and she's got the lip sync, but this has no head motion. So that's what we're trying to fix. We're gonna copy the head motion keyframes from here over to here. That's all we're trying to do. But there are just a few steps that we need to take. The next thing we wanna do is get those keyframes out of here. The head and the neck one and two tracks. Sequencer is completely jumbled up right now. And we're, so what we're gonna do is put some control rigs back on these two metahumans. So we'll come over here to body on the first one, or I guess on that one. And we'll right click and go bake to control rig. And we want the metahuman control rig and go create. So she's got her control rig on and then we'll go to this other one and we need to put a control rig on here so that we can get to those keyframes that we want. So we come here to the body, right click, and we go bake to control rig and it's the metahuman one right there and go create. Now one of the gotchas is make sure before you get started on all this that the, the playhead is at the very beginning here. So what we need to do is our sequencer is cluttered right now with a bunch of stuff on here. So to make our life easier, what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the filter and we're going to go select control rig control. Now I don't know why it says that. To me it just should say it should just say selected rig controls. But we'll click it and then you notice our sequencer goes blank. Now if I hold on control, I can select her neck two, her neck one, and her head. So but we're going to copy all these keyframes. That's all we're going to do right now. So we're going to click here under head, expand it. Click there, expand that, and click there and expand that. And what we're looking for is the on the rotation, roll pitch and yaw. So we come right here, hold down shift, 
and select these all these keyframes here and let go you need to let go that's a that's a got you right there if you don't let go and then come down here to neck one hold down shift left click and drag and select all these keyframes and let go and then come down to neck two and this is where I made a mistake before hold down left click mouse button left click and drag and select all these and let go all you have to do is hit control plus C and we've copied all those keyframes now what we can do is go back and clear this back to normal and one thing I forgot to do actually I meant to do this earlier is on the control rig for this one because this is the one we need to add an additive layer so that we can paste those keyframes in so what we're going to do is click here where it says section go to additive and now it's added a layer here and we'll select that layer and we should go be able to go control V click and control let me click here control V and you'll see now I just noticed something you needed to click here not here so you see they got pasted in right there now you can check that they're all there if you want but I'm just gonna trust that since I see this I'm pretty confident that I got all the keyframes that I needed so if I'm confident and I'm feeling confident right now <laughs> we actually don't need we actually don't need this second metahuman anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and delete her because we don't need her so I deleted her out of the sequencer but she's still in the scene so I'm actually gonna just pull her out of the scene because I don't need that metahuman anymore this is the one that I want now I've noticed that this is locked up uh, I'm pressing W and right mouse button and I can't move this happens so I've noticed the sequencer will tie you up so we're just gonna close out of the sequencer and now I'm free to move so I'm gonna I want to move over here closer and I'll go then and open the sequencer back up that's just a glitchy thing that happens sometimes now when I hit play if I did everything correctly you should see that her head turns we will have an idle animation we will have the lip sync and her head should turn so let's see if that's what actually happens turn your head please yeah see <laughs> so now we've got the metahuman with the facial animation the head motion and the body animation all into one character now you might notice it might be hard to notice on this but her head is tilted down you see this up here you can see that it's it almost looks like a graduation cap it's tilted down which is not the same as the other one was so you can go back in here and uh, make adjustments if you want I guess the easiest way to do it would be actually to come here and click there and then just select the head and now uh, that brings in the head control but it's not all the head control we want we just want um, the the roll here the roll here open up the curve editor let's see yeah so this is just for the rotation roll and there's this axis editor and if we set it to Y it just limits us on one in one direction I'm just scrolling out here a little bit I can click any one of the I can come up here and select all these keys and then just grab any one of them and then we can just pull down and see that how the head is rotating we can just pull it up see it there up on our head how it's leveling out and we just do that and then that's all we have to do and then we can close out of here we can go save and we can close out of here and we come back here to the beginning let me close this up get things nice and neat come back to the beginning and I go play see her head comes up her head should be up more now and that's what we want now the last step is since we went through all this work we want to bake this out so what we're going to do is come here to body click here on the body and go 
fake animation sequence. And we'll just call this grand finale and go, I'll just put it on the content level and go okay. And export. And now it's created that animation sequence. Now I can go back here and clear this out so we get our all our stuff back. Now what I can do is actually come in here and I don't need this stuff anymore. So I'm going to delete the control rig. I'm going to delete, um, I think I can leave this one on there. Um, but here on the idle animation, we can actually delete this idle animation. And then we should be able to go in and add that grand finale animation in here. Let's see if, there it is right there. And now it's all in one, and I don't have to worry about it. And if I scroll in here and we take a look, let me let me level up with her a little bit. Her head's really pointing facing down, isn't it? I think that's how it started. So that could be adjusted further if you wanted to. And let's hit play and see what happens. It looks like her head's still pointing down. Let's just real fast, let me just see if I can fix that real fast here. So we'll go back to the body here. Let's bake that to a control rig. So we have a control rig. Not sure why her head is tilted so far down. Her head's really pointing down, isn't it? It's roll. It's interesting, it's roll. Oh no, I don't think I got them all. So select them all, and oh my gosh, you've got to select one of the keyframes. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's it's not moving her head. Let's uh, save that. Let's go to the. Uh, let's close out of this. Let's select her her the neck one and see if that does it. I don't see why it wouldn't. So, why don't I see it? Oh, I'm selecting the whole thing. I just want that one right there. There we go. And what is this one going to be? Is it going to be the, what do you think it's going to be? Uh, she's, you know, it's not bad, it's just her head's tilted too far forward is the only issue I'm having. I'm thinking it's going to be, I honestly don't know, let's let's just see if I mess with one of these keyframes here. Okay, it's going to be this one. Can I just turn that up? So that's the one that's going to do it, the head isn't doing it. So which one was that, was that the pitch? No. So this one is the roll. Yeah, okay. So let's select the roll here and go in the curve editor. How come I got so much stuff on here now? Let's see. I want just this one, the roll. And so let's click here on the axis. Let's select all these keyframes. And get that head up. Okay, save, come back to sequence, to close this, go back to the beginning, hit play. It's better, yeah, okay, it's better. So you can see how there's different ways that you could have fixed this up, you know what I mean? I want to just double check this again. Just want to make sure her head's turning, right? Yep, it is turning. Yep, okay. So now let's do this, try this one more time. Come up here into the body. And we will, oh, um, fake animation sequence. Let's call this, oh no, no, wait. Let me do it here, sorry. Grand finale two and go, okay. Export, it says it did it. Let's clear this out. 
we want to get rid of the rig. I like the fact that this animation is all distilled down into one, pretty much. Okay, and then all we have to do is let me delete this animation here and go in and add that grand finale number two. And like I said, you can. This gives you an idea of. I'm keeping this in there, so I'm. I feel like I'm keeping it real. You know, <laughs> remember to keep your playhead up at the beginning because I, I make a mistake that way a few times. Take a look at it now and see if her head is in a better position. Yeah, it's better now. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah. And then, of course, you just need to add the audio, and I've shown how to do that in other tutorials. So, anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful, and I kept the mistakes in here so that you could see <laughs> the situations that you're likely to encounter. So, anyway, take care, and I will talk to you next time.